Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and it is three-way comparison time. The three-way dance, Roy Callender, Danny Padilla, and Mohamed Makawe. Three outstanding bodybuilders, no doubt. A little bit unfair for the much taller man here, Roy Callender. It's not a very good shot. He doesn't even look like he's tensed up or flexed. He has a much better set of abs than than that, than is. But I have to go with what I have here. Danny Padilla looks outstanding. The smallest, shortest man, but he looks the widest here. And the hardest and grainiest as well. Mohamed, Mohamed Makawe. Doesn't look too bad. He shall fetch uh, one point in this, and Danny Padilla will get two. Sadly, a little bit unfair. Roy Callender gets nothing. In the front double bicep, however, I am giving Roy Callender a double pointer here. He will be winning this. It is a, a very unclear picture of Roy Callender, but I can see through that. I can see some striations in those legs and those peaks of those arms. He has the best set of arms in this lineup, in my opinion. And, of course, he is the largest man. So he could afford to even be down in conditioning a little bit, but I don't think he is. Now, Danny Padilla, I am giving this one over Mohamed Makawe, and it is debatable here. Look at the six-pack of abs on Mohamed Makawe. The conditioning, top plus, but Danny Padilla's conditioning. It's on another level, I think, when you take a good look. Look at the death face on Padilla. Anyway, it is close here, but I am giving the one-pointer to Danny Okay, front lat spread, in which case Roy Callender picks up another double pointer. He is making up for that loss of the front relaxed position. Of course, he is much larger than anybody else, so he has an advantage right out of the shoot. Danny Padilla, there should be a better picture of him snapping this shot with his legs. I like to keep it full body if I can. Mohamed Makawe, this is the only picture I could find of him. A little bit unfair. He's getting he's getting jerked around a little bit in this competition, but hey, I have to go with what I have. And Danny Padilla gets another one-pointer. Roy Callender looks out, outstanding here. And another point for Roy Callender, a double-pointer, a victory here in the side chest. I know some of you are calling unfair for Danny Padilla. He's using a 1990s shot. But hey, if you can compete well into your 40 your 40s, then, hey, it's fair. You can you can use any shot you want. We've seen a Mohamed McAway pitcher earlier on from the 90s, and nobody complained about that. It's because he looked terrible. Anyway, he didn't age as well as Padilla did. He is thick and hardy, but that peck alone on Roy, Roy Callender, just unbeatable. What a 70s bow on this man. And Callender here, going from rags to riches, or the opposite, from riches to rags. He's losing this side uh, tricep. He is the much larger man. Bone structure and his arms are the longest. And the tricep itself looks the smallest. Danny Padilla. I usually don't like the way the dead-on side shot of this pose. But man, he really pulls this one off. Look at the size of his pec. And that's all I see is pec and tricep. Pec and tricep. Now, Mohamed Makawe, or Mohamed, however you pronounce his name. He looks fantastic, like a piece of artwork, but not nearly enough to beat Danny Padilla. But he gets one point, Padilla with the double. Okay, turn around for the back developments, and yes, I know, I know, I know. The pitcher quality of Mohamed Makawe's is the worst that I've ever shown. I just felt it would have been out of place if I didn't put anything here. And this is the only rear lat spread I could find. He never liked to hit this shot. And I'm sure it was a weak shot for him. Danny Padilla, an old black and white pitcher here. And it's not in his prime, I don't think. So it, it goes from quality of pitcher here is the ranking of how I vote this one. The best pitcher quality here of Roy Callender, the pitcher. And he has the best rear lat spread, bar none, hands down. It is a saving grace that we know Roy Callender would win this shot no matter what. One of the best rear lat spreads of his time. Danny Padilla gets another one-pointer. It is plain to see here in the rear double bicep, Padilla would have had a much better rear lat spread had we found one in his prime or a better pitcher. Roy Callender does not translate quite so well in the rear double bi as he did in that lat spread. That was one of the best lat spreads I've ever seen of his time. 
But not bad nonetheless here. Padilla, definitely I'm giving him the win. Hard graininess, conditioning. Look at those calves. And he is the smaller man. Those calves are out of sight. Now, poor Mohamed Makawe. He hated to show his back. I don't know. He told the cameraman never to take pictures of a, a mandatory rear double by or a mandatory rear lat spread. He was always tilting and twisting and throwing some sort of monkey wrench into the plans. Anyway, Padilla gets a good point here. In the Avent eye shot, Mohamed Makawe picks up his first victory, his first win, first double pointer in this entire competition. Roy Callender, I am sure I have seen a better Abanthai of him somewhere, and I did find a couple of pictures, but it was upper body only. But I think the, the Danny Padilla probably would have taken him anyway. Hard to say, though. Roy Callender had some feathering, some striations in those thighs. He could have pulled off one heck of an Abanthai shot. Mohamed Makawe taking nothing away from his Abanthai. Danny Padilla gets the one point. Mohamed gets the double. Okay, this is it. The last chance for these guys to get the double pointers. And even a single doesn't hurt. Roy Callender. Just incredible in this pose. And he is fashioning some feathering in those quads. One one feature that he didn't do in the Abanthai. It's a shame he missed out on a point there, I believe. Dandy Padella looks fantastic here, thick and muscular. Not as good as Calendar. He picks up the one pointer, though. Mohamed Makawe, I believe, is the leaner man of the three, and he was, I don't know, I guess he was destined to lose this competition against these two outstanding bodybuilders, but taking nothing away from Mohamed's posing routines, things of that nature. If we had had those in there, then maybe he would have scored a victory. Hard to say. But I am adding these up. Mohammed in dead last. He takes third place. And in second, Roy Callender. And that means your winner now by one point. One point here. Danny Padilla. Oh, Danny boy. You advance on in these brackets. I have to say, the competition in this tournament... It is very, very high. Every one of these guys are good bodybuilders. Don't kid yourself. Next matchup features Casey Viator, Bertel Fox, and Boyer Co. What a trifecta that will make. One to look forward to for sure. Hit the thumbs up, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video. And snap that subscribe button as well, if you have not already. Have a great day.